FIU's DM150 Studio Theater has a capacity of 134 audience members in a thrust configuration. This is with the back curtain open. You can see the backstage storage area. So it can hold scenery pieces, props. And then a picture of the space with the curtain closed. This is the stage area. Inside the booth, we have a two scene preset lighting control. And we also have a 12 channel mixer for control of the house sound as well as speakers if we want to connect an auxiliary through a laptop or iPhone. Inside the booth, we can control the work lights, the house lights from the left side of the wall of the two scene preset light board. So I can turn on the work lights for regular work inside the space or classroom, or turn on the house lights above the audience for showtime. On the right side of the board, up on the wall, is control of the booth lighting, so the lights above the control boards and for the stage manager while they're inside the booth. Okay, controlling your two scene preset board. So the two scene preset has a power button here at the back of the board, which I can turn on and off. So right now it's on. To start, there's a button here that shows blackout. I want to hit that so that it's no longer in blackout. When the light's off, we don't have a blackout. When the light's on, all light control is off. Okay. And I'm going to have a submaster here, A and B. So if I have A at zero, there's a meter here on the side, zero to 10, zero off, 10 at 100% power. B, 10 is at the bottom and zero is at the top. So I'd be at 100% power if I'm at the bottom, zero at the top. This is a two scene preset, so I can set two scenes at a time. I can set a top scene with these sliders. I have 24 channels. And on the bottom, I have 24 channels, the same as the top. At the top, it says preset A. That's my scene A, which corresponds to my submaster A. And scene B, preset B, to scene B over here. I have lights marked of what they control in the middle of the board. So if I wanted to turn on an upstage center light, I can turn on upstage center on scene A or the same upstage center on B. In order to control one side at a time, what I will do is I will have both submasters on the same side. So if I have them both all the way up, A is now set to 100% and B is set to 0% because they are together. The meter on the side says 10, 100% for A, 0 for B. So I can set my scene A however I would like. So maybe I would like some top light where I have top designated here, top, top light, and then my upstage center. So maybe that's a preset I would like for number one. Now say I want a preset for number two for a scene shift. Maybe now I'm going to use a downstage center, which is marked here, and B. Then I have additional lights over here, so maybe I want uh, side light. So now I have, it says mid side, mid side. I have that set. So once I'm ready in scene B, I can switch out of A 
and to me by moving both my submasters at the same time, which will take A out while bringing B to 100%. So if I slide these slowly, you can see the top light from A has gone out, and now my preset for B has come up into a light scene change. Say I, now I want to switch back to another scene and to A. So I will take out only, I'll only have top light blue happening now. So I'm going from this preset to just the blue top light. I'm going to go from B, which is now at 100% and A at zero, slide them both at the same time. We'll take B out as A comes back on. And I can continue working that way, presetting my next scene, getting ready, and then sliding both sliders at the same time to the next scene. So I'll start in A again. This time in B, I'm just going to do a special for mid-stage. So my mid-stage special which will have all other lights off except for one center stage. So I'll slide both sliders again. So it's just the one light, and it's the one special in the center of the stage. So that is your two scene preset. That's the basic functions. Now I can also go to direct blackout by hitting that blackout button again. By just hitting blackout, we'll cut everything off and the blackout button will be lit up, letting me know that I'm in a blackout. If I want to bring the lights back up to where I just was, I hit the blackout button again, and it will take the blackout out, and the light will come back. DM150 sound system. So it works the same way as main stage. We have to power our board on, our accessories, and last, our amplifier. Our amplifier is here, here is a CD player, and here is our board. So the board would turn on first. There's a power switch on the back of the board to pull the board on. Once the board's on, we can make sure that if we need the CD player, I turn the CD player on. And lastly, I turn the amplifier on. So now the amplifier is on. There's also a speaker below the table that has to be on for our booth sound. So whatever would happen out in the audience, we can hear inside. So the speaker underneath the table right here needs to be on. The board has been labeled with different designations. So I have a God mic for the microphone here inside the booth, CD left sound, Program sound, that's for everything in the audience for us to hear inside the booth for the program. CD right, so left and right speaker. Auxiliary left and auxiliary right. In addition to these buttons, there's also a mute button up top. So if I press the button, it's muted. If I depress the button, it's no longer muted. So I can plug in something such as my phone or a laptop into the board. I have to make sure my main volume is at Unity, which is the dark black line. Then I can come over to my auxiliary, make sure it's unmuted after you plug in. You want to plug in first, then unmute. Then you can play a song. And once you're plugged in, you'll be able to raise the volume and to hear in the booth, because it'll be playing out in the house, you want to have your program sound on. You also want to check the volume on your accessory. So I've got my volume up. 
If I turn program sound down, sound should go out in here, but it's playing out in the booth. So program sound in the booth, speakers out in the house, our auxiliary left and right. So you can play different sounds from your phone, from your computer on auxiliary left and right. Another thing you want to just make sure it's depressed, there are buttons next to each slider. We are playing through the main speakers, so the main speakers should have the buttons pressed down. It says main. Those are your speakers. Main should be pressed down on all of them, except for your program sound. Because you don't want whatever's playing in program out in the house. So you can play. You can play a CD and use the sliders for CD left and right. And you can use the guide mic if you need to talk to people while inside the booth. So if I use my God mic, I should be able to talk into the God mic and it will be playing in here as well as out in the audience. So they can talk to me, I hear them through program sound and they can hear me through the microphone, through the God mic. To power down is the opposite direction. So I would power down my amplifier first. Then I would turn off my accessories, which is the CD player. And lastly, I would turn off my board. There you go. That's DM sound.